What's up, everybody? We are talking Better Call Saul. Dex and Shannon, and we're joined by Patrick Jones. Patrick Jones is like the ultimate Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul fan. Blogger. And, uh, yes, blogger, uh, which it's Better Blog Saul is your website. Yeah, that's my blog. Yes, and it's amazing. Thank you. It's so cool. Uh, before we jump into that, let's talk a little bit about last night's episode. Yes. Was it your favorite episode? Part of me wants to say that like the episode that was all about Mike was my favorite, but I feel like that's too trendy of a pick. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with last night's episode. But now like, you're being yeah. trendy because that's his uh, favorite. See, see? Oh, you're following. Yeah. I, I, want, I want to follow him. If I'm gonna uh, follow anybody, it's you. Follow Dex. Dex. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's that's a good call. Yeah. I thought last night's episode was especially Mike with uh, the gun scene was. <laughs> the guy's choking just. On oh the my ground. gosh, that was the best because Mike is he is he's BD. I know. You know? So I like the, that. See, I yes. stole that from Shannon. The, We'll explain that later. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> see, good, you throw everybody off. I should never use that ever. Um, I'll, I'll, I think the uh, the uh, scene also at uh, where they're doing the drug deal. Mike tags along with that guy, yeah. and uh, we saw Nacho again, mm -hmm. which I'm so happy he's back because I thought he was gone. Yeah, yeah. I thought we'd see a lot more of Nacho this season, what especially about you? after the first episode. I yeah. thought that we see Tuco. I actually found out why we're not seeing Tuco. Do you guys know? Because he is depressed to play that part. Yeah, it's too dark for him. His wife does not approve of the of the mm -hmm. character, and I mean, if my wife was playing a character that dark, I wouldn't really want to see her every day either. Yeah, kind of scary to have. Well, her don't separate blame that. the wife. I thought it was him. See, everyone always blames the woman. Uh, that's what I heard. <laughs> Dang it, Eve! <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. Oh. Um, let's talk about uh, your blog and yeah. how you started with this because. Because of Reddit, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorite places to go, it kind of exploded. So tell everybody about that. Yeah, so I'm new to the area, and when I was when I first came through Albuquerque, the number one thing I wanted to do was go to Walter White's house, go to um, Saul's original location, you know. So I wanted to do that. So when I moved here, I'm living here, and Better Call Saul's filming. I just started writing down the addresses of things that I saw just for myself. Yeah. So the first episode, I just wrote things down on a piece of paper and then logged them into Google Maps and made a map for myself. Then I realized some other people might want to do these things. Right. So um, I posted it up on Reddit and I only had like three or four locations. It was just the things that I noticed really quickly. Like, for example, when Cafe Lush can be seen, you can see the street sign that says 7th Street. So I knew it's on 7th Street. Yeah. So I did that, put it up on Reddit, went to bed, and the next day had 30 or 40 comments from people in Albuquerque saying, oh, well, here's where the address is for this house. Here's where the address is for this park. Here's where the address is for all these different things. And um, they helped me, and they actually added more than I had on my yeah. original Did map, Did you ever so team fun. up with the Breaking Bad tours? Yeah, I've talked with them before, and we, we've talked a little bit about partnering. But the one thing is, like, when I was going through town, I couldn't afford to go on one of the tours. Okay. It was kind of expensive, you know, I was job hunting at the time. And so my wife and I just drove all around the Northeast Heights for free. And so I was planning on doing that again. So um, with this map, you can go find the places you want to go and just go travel there. You can go eat at Cafe Lush. You can go over to Two Fools Tavern and make your own tour. That's yeah. great. So then the you don't the, have to go to every single point. Yeah, okay. so at the end of the season, I'm going to compile like a, a tour that you could do that would be the shortest way, but it can help you hit all of the biggest spots. Yeah, let's check out uh, your blog here right. for a second, and then we'll uh, we'll check out some of these locations that are pretty popular. So Better Blog Saw, that is where you have to go, and it's re it's really easy. Shannon and I were yes, looking at it before the map the is my favorite part. Yeah. I think that oh, if yeah. you could pull up the map, because those little red dots, if you were to click on one, yeah. you, you tell... You, yeah. you, I, I tell you what episode it was first seen in. So, for example, like when we see Chuck's house, it's the first episode. It's been in every single episode. So I will say seen in SO1, E O one Yeah. And then I'll, I try to be clever and put some sort of joke in the description to each of those. So when you click on each little pin, it's going to tell you something really quick and tell you how to get there. And then on the blog, I'm going to have some pictures of the place, either pictures that I've taken or some of my friends or um, from the show. Yeah. What so would you cool. say after Chuck's house... Uh, the next uh, destination would be kind of cool for uh, fans out there. Two Fools, it's here. Two, two Fools Tavern. Fools. It was fun because we were talking about it online, and I've been to Two Fools a bunch. And I noticed it in the show, but it was a bunch of tight shots. And so I'm just seeing Mike's face and a, and a bunch of neon lights. I'm thinking to myself, there aren't a bunch of neon lights yeah. in Two Fools. And they were for, for beers like Rolling Rock. And I, I know they don't serve Rolling Rock yeah. in Two Fools Tavern, thank God. So... 
then I start looking and, I, and I'm, I'm sure that's two fools. So then I was talking with my friends and we all agreed that's two fools tavern. So I went there. I didn't know that by the oh, way. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to figure out which bar they did that because yeah. it was supposed to be a Philly bar and, and it, it looked, looked like a Philly like bar. A Philly bar. Like, yeah. Here's a cool piece of trivia. When he walks out the back, that is not the alley behind two fools. It is the alley behind what? Uh, I think fourth or fifth street, like okay. right, right around here. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and they added a bunch of street signs in this dark alley. And so it's, you know, a little bit of movie magic. Yeah. That it makes it, because behind two fools, it's not a dark, dirty alley. Yeah, it's yeah. not uphill. Everything looks great in yeah. uh, uphill. Cafe Lush, let's yeah. talk about that. What was what went, what uh, was that scene used for? So that was for the, um, in the opening two episodes, it's where um, Lars and Cal kind of trolled Tuco's grandmother. Okay. So they, they skated out in front, and then, um, let's see, the owner of the cafe, she was actually one of the extras, so she runs up there, and she's the one who calls 911. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so it was really fun, and that's that was kind of my aha moment when I realized I could start logging some of these things in there and go visiting them. Yeah. So um, I went to Cafe Lush and I emailed them. I said, hey, I'm working on a blog. I would love to write you know, an article about you. And she was like, how much? And I said, oh, no, I'm just doing it for free. So she's seen a huge um, spike in business. I bet. That's great. Yeah. And how great for Albuquerque, period, oh, yeah. that Absolutely. you're doing this yeah. and you're bringing people in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Mayor of Albuquerque. Come on. Thanks. All the Patrick Jones. Governor, come I, on. I serve. Let's do this. <laughs> Keep it going. Cause... I think we have one more location, though, that you were telling us about the P&M. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, last night's episode. Last so that was on last episode. night's episode. And that's a P&M substation. I say the quote unquote price is right because that weird guy he called himself Price, but it was really his nephew's name. And so that's the power station there. And um, a lot of people said they were just waiting. It's such a cool location. They were waiting for it to be used in some right. television show. And so luckily now it's been used for Breaking Bad. And that was the, or for Better Call Saul. And that was the drug deal from last night. That was Where cool. Mike was with Nacho. Which, did you know where it was? Were you trying to guess? Because I was. I, yeah, I didn't know. I, I had, had no, no idea. idea. I try to guess all the locations, yeah, actually. Do you? Well, you don't. Oh. You're a professional. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess. You just know. What is, uh, what is your favorite location? It's probably Walter White's house. Is that, is, which one did you geek out the most when you uh, went and... Honestly, it was Octopus Car Wash. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you, you don't just go visit it. Like, you get to go where he was selling air fresheners. I, I got my car wash there. That was mm -hmm. one of the first yeah. things I did when I moved here. So, and I, I showed all my friends and all of my friends all around the world. That's the thing that they thought was the coolest. Yeah. When and I'm they doing actually car wash. have Breaking Bad, like, paraphernalia. Oh, in everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's been bought out, but luckily they haven't changed a thing. Right. So, um, yeah, you can get a bunch of Breaking Bad stuff there. And get your car wash. There you go. Well, Patrick Jones, we hope you have an A1 day. <laughs> you don't know what that means, I don't Shannon, because she doesn't want what you did there, and I like yes. it. Well, that's go. a trivia question, probably. We'd love to have you uh, close us out here in a little bit uh, sure. if you want to stick around. Is that cool? Yeah. Patrick Jones, I, this better blog saw amazing. You have to check it out. We have to go to break. When we come back, we're going to lawyer up. So, new stay lawyer. With us. Yes, we've got a new lawyer. Hang out with us. <laughs> 